Hi everyone, in this video we can discuss about that HDL implementation of various shift registers and its variants. So we can start with this uh, implementation code that is for the implementation of parallel input to parallel output shift register. So we can consider this circuit diagram of parallel input to parallel output shift registers with uh, six flip flops. Okay, so this is a 6 bit parallel input parallel output shift register. Okay, so we can name it as we can def, uh, we can assign any particular uh, user defined name for your module. Here it is uh, red pi po. Okay, so this is a user defined name. Then inside this, these are the parameters D, clock, clear and Q for this module. And in this, what are the inputs? D and clock form the input and D is what? D is an array of size 0 to 5 means total 6 bit it can represent. And Q is an output and is of same size 6, 0 to 5. And again, this is Q. Here the Q is using for output. So you have to consider this as register type variable. The output variable Q, we can consider this as register type variable. So in this always portion, uh, here it is negative edge of clock. That means that changes will happen to that or the data will transfer to the output of the flip-flop during the negative edge of the clock means this is negative edge triggering flip-flop okay uh, and one more condition is given here negative edge of clear two conditions are given or you can consider only one case that is negative edge of clock here two different conditions are given and are combined using or operation that means either during the negative edge of clock or during the negative edge of clear and see what is the meaning of next statement this if statement if of negative of clear we know that the clear input is active low signals so whenever this clear value become low the clear input become active and will set all the outputs of your six different flip-flops with zeros that is the purpose of this clear input whenever the clear become low because this is active low signal active low signals become active whenever its value become zero so if the clear is uh, complemented form that means clear equal to zero if the condition is satisfying this one that is clear negative of clear means clear equal to zero if the condition is true then all the six outputs q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 and q6 set with single binary bit zero that is the meaning six binary bit zero you have to initialize all the six bits of your q array with zeros else if clear is not equal to zero means the clear input is not active and that situation the else part will execute what is this else part you have to assign all the bit the bits of q indicate actually all these flip-flops outputs like q1 q2 q3 up to q6 you have to input or you have to assign the values of d array into q array when when the clear not equal to zero okay so this is the representation uh, hdl code corresponding to this circuit uh, Whenever clock input is, sorry, the clear input is active, it will set all that flip-flop output with zero. And if the clear is not active, inactive, then that input value, whatever value is available in your input array D, it will directly transfer to its output port. That is the meaning of this parallel input, parallel output. Register, okay. So next one is another 
shift register this is 4 bit serial input shift register serial input shift register so exactly like our previous here we need to define one module you can assign any one user defined name for your module and the inputs are uh, d clock and one more is t t indicate actually our q outputs okay so here t means this is actually serial input serial outputting so t indicate the final single bit of output from the last flip flop then here we have only one output t so you have to represent this t as t output as register type and again the other outputs that intermediate outputs like q from first flip flop r from second flip flop and s from s from third flip flop these are intermediate result here these are output actually output of various flip flops you have to uh, represent all these output as register these are not wired type variable these are register type variable itself because these are actually indicating output from various flip-flops intermediate flip-flops so here the declaration is not like wire type qrs here it is register type qrs this is the difference this is not indicating intermediate connection these are output from intermediate flip-flops so you have to declare this intermediate output as register type variables okay so in this uh, always exactly like previous during the negative edge of each clock these set of actions will take place one after another so what is the meaning q is assigned with whatever value available now here it will assign to q q value present value of q will assign to r present value of r will assign to s and s value is assigned to t see here it is using that uh, assignment operation see here it is using that assignment operation instead of equal to in our previous case here we have only one statement and is represented using equal to okay suppose here it is given like instead of this uh, assignment suppose here it is like this type of assignment q equal to d r equal to q s equal to r t equal to s what hell, what will happen in that situation in that situation if it is suppose instead of this operator assume here it is that equal to okay in that case first time d will assign to q after that the new q value will assign to r the new r value will assign to s s value will assign to t that means the same whatever value available for d that will appear to q r s and t okay but here it is not equal to operator here it is that assignment operator from d to q and q to r r to s s to t in this situation if it is like this all the set of operation that comes under this begin and end will execute parallelly so what will happen that d value will comes to q the preview before that whatever value is available here at q that will comes to r and that previous value that available here that will comes to s and that value previous value available at s that will come to here and to t serially shifting one after another that will happen only during this operator if it is assignment operator first d value is assigned to q that new value will assign to r the new value will assign to s and s value will assign to t if it is equal operator so that means the same d value will available at all that intermediate position as well as at t if it is equal operator if it is assignment operator all these operation assignment take place parallelly that value from q shifted to here the value from r shifted to s that value from s shifted to t so that previous value will shift one position to right 
So this is the case of equal to and assignment operator. Okay, so this will take place one after another here. So this will perform serial input, serial outputting. Next is parallel serial inputting and parallel outputting. Serial input, parallel output, shift register, exactly like a module with D input, clock input and Q indicate output. Input D and output Q with 0 to 3 size. This is an array with 0 to 3 means total 4 bit array Q. And input is a single bit input. Okay. Uh, don't forget to declare that output variable as register type. So during the negative clock cycle, the same thing as in our previous uh, example, the D value will assign to Q. The previous C, the Q0 value will assign to Q1. The Q1 will assign to Q2. Q2 will assign to Q3. Okay, here we are not using any intermediate uh, registers or intermediate representation directly using different bit positions of your query. Okay, so here it use some intermediate output variables for indicating this intermediate result QRS. Next is uh, implementation for your Johnson counter and the circuit is given here. And you have to start the module with any one user defined name and the inputs are clock, clear and why? Why is that output? Clear and clock form input. And you have to register, uh, represent that intermediate output like Q, R and S as register type. Q, R, S and T as register type. And here we have this portion in this diagram. So you have to represent the... Uh, you have to represent this y. What is y? Assign y with t complement and q complement. This is AND gate. So t complement and q complement is y. Okay. So this is that implementation purely for this particular type. Then in the always in the uh, always portion during the negative edge of clock negative edge of clock. First, you have to declare all that uh, 6 bit into 0. Sorry, here we need to input how many bits? 4 binary bit to 0. Here we you have 4 flip flops, right? So, if clear is active, means here clear is negative or low state that means clear input is active it will automatically set that uh, input as zero for input here 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 and here it will it will be zero if clear is not zero what to do you have to shift q to r r to s s to t and the complement of t to d Okay, one after another. So, you have to use that assignment operation. First, Q is assigned with T complement. R is assigned with Q. Or R is assigned with, yeah, R is assigned with this Q. And S is assigned with this R. T is assigned with S. The difference is, this one, this particular first flip-flop output, Q need to be initialized or assigned with uh, complement of your last flip flops output this one this is the implementation for switch tail counter or johnson counter okay you have one more question you have to try this one you have to store this particular pattern in a register 8 bit pattern using 8 bit register you have to store this pattern in a serial input fashion okay Thank you.